And now let's begin the Beast Wars. When I was purchasing these, it roughly came out to $100 a box. I only did a quick glance on like two or three. And you say yes. There was another person always waiting. And yes, this time there was a guy literally saying, if he doesn't buy it, I'll buy it. So I took the gamble. Beast Wars is doing very well. Prices are up on them. But are these loose complete? So without further ado, 15 dozen. I hope there's 15 dozen in here. Let's see what we got. Optimus. We got some shield armor there, no missiles. So we're missing the gun, missiles, and three bits of armor. Loose complete, this might be about 100. We have Machine Wars Optimus Prime, no missiles. Has the back piece, that might be about 45, 50, I'm not sure. Oh, 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 we got nailed. X-Men, so this entire box just became a loss. And this is just how it is. So five bucks. Two bucks, three bucks. This is terrible. This is just exactly how it goes and how you need to be more prepared. Got Sandman. Is he complete? Oh, I guess some of these will go to my complete. Oh, Sugar Man. I'm sorry. Some of these are complete and I guess I'll keep them. But there's a, there's a decent volume of them in here. But I don't think for... Uh, As for money making, this was a complete financial loss. Only because a couple beast wars were on top. So I'm gonna guess three dollars of each. Some of them might be a little bit more because this guy's uncommon. But you're looking at just enough where I can recoup my money back. Well, so let's hope that the optimist parts are in a different bin, and then I will be doing great. I'm still kind of like in shock, but as I said, there literally was a guy right behind me going like, yo, yo, yo. And I didn't speak louder than him in order to get the purchase. Okay. Now, now we're much better off here. Okay. We have a little flying squirrel guy. He looks like he's in nice shape. Bio cards. Now we're talking like 10 to 15, sometimes 20, depending on the character. For the smaller guys, has the missile. That's forty dollars. Now thirty, about thirty-five. But with the bio and the back of the card, you might get the forty for that. Yes. Okay. We started off a really bad start, but now we're doing much better. Well, now we're on to beast machines. So he might be about twenty. I don't think people are screaming for beast machines as compared to beast wars. He has both antenna. Has the gun. Has no cannon. No missiles. But it has the legs. So in about this shape, he's about 45. If I find the rest of the parts, he might be over 100. I'm a little off on pricing. The market has changed so much even in the last couple of months when I got the last Beast War group lot in that I'm just not sure anymore. We've got some early guys here. Armadillo, I can get about 25, 30 for that. Wow, Machine Wars, Soundwave. Oh, it's got yellowing. That's pretty bad. Maybe about 25. Quick strike. Complete. That's about 25. Oh, there's a springer. Where's his head? That's a fair question to ask. Where's your head, dude? And if I'm not seeing a head in here, which is really odd, I, I'm going to hope it's popped off. That means we had somebody customizing and we might have more issues with more figures later on. So let's just say as is without the head, Zippo. The uh, Black Sheep of the Beast Wars line, five bucks for Injector. Bantor, not really the full Black Sheep of the Fusor line for Beast War, but about 15, 10. I could be wrong on that because some of those have definitely gotten better. This is like 20 bucks for the bag. Rhinox is about 45. Skyhammer is yellowed. I'm now wondering if I got nailed on this box a lot because is it yellowed or is it smoke? Nothing for that. I can hear the missiles in there. Not really smelling anything, but my nose is a little stuffed. So Starscream here for Machine Wars. This could be about 60, I'm gonna guess. Cyber Shark. 
that's about 70. So this box is doing great on its own, but these are a lot of the early figures. Air Razor, that might be about 35 for her. Spitor, I love you, Spitor. He's about 25, 30. And Arturo is probably about $20. Oh, excellent. The Dinobot showed up. Dinobot would be about complete, it looks like. 50. And one of the landfill guys that combines Wedge. That'll be about 20. And oh, ooh, Tarantulas, Transmetal. Solid is the weapon there. I am not seeing the weapon. And that weapon makes or breaks the toy, as in financially. Oh, there it is. I'm being a little stupid right now. Um, 50, 60. So that pile absolutely makes up for the loss of, well, not complete loss of Toy Biz figures, which are really not doing that well right now financially. So I'm going to guess this pile that just not even thinking was about 250 to 350, probably adding it all up. That is what I'm hoping for. But we did get a lot of early Beast Wars quite quickly. So I'm hoping for Megatron, Optimus Primal, and some other key deluxe figures. But the other boxes, I guess we're going to get a lot of movie, hopefully, Energon and Armada. Okay, off to a decent start. Oh, Rat Trap! So again, I haven't been through any of these boxes. This is the first time. I just literally made the call, I'll buy it, I'll buy it, and just bought it and dragged it off the corner and paid the guy. So, looking good. Polar Claw, not yellowed. About 45. Beast Machines, Black Arachnia. She is popular, so I'm going to guess 35. Nah, maybe 10. We get to the oddball Beast Machine guys. I'm going to be curious. Oh, the Dino guys. They brought the Japanese Beast Wars out and made them for the Beast Machines. I'm going to guess 30. Rat trap with the gun. So that's going to be about 60, 70, I guess. Enter John Wheeljack. That's going to be about 25. Retracts. He was really creative. I like the idea of the design, his uh, special little grasping, but I don't know if anyone really cares about him. So I'm going to guess probably about 20. Megatron. Ooh, from Generations. I don't know. This is a little beyond me. I'm probably going to guess being a Megatron 25. Cheetor, which they just reissued and slaughtered the market. Thank you, Hasbro. You guys are really good at killing the market. 25. Ah, oh, gosh. I love this guy. The fact that they made these really unique, oddball, and colorful characters for the second series lineup, I just love it. $30 for him. Insecticon with or without the weapon, with the weapon, maybe about 25, 30. Baboom, boom, baboom. Up, up, up. Missile instructions, about 50, 60, because he's a little more uncommon. K9, complete. Maybe about 25, 30. I mean, with the bio cards, there could be an additional like five dollars to six dollars the price I give. I, I'm not sure. Oh, he's uncommon. Quick strike. I'm gonna guess about 15, 20. Air Raptor with the correct gun, which is tough. I would say 25. Wolfgang about 30. A Dinobot and a Rat Trap. Chromeware will always be with this guy. So I'm going to say about 25 for him. 25 for the pack of Cephalosaurus. Dinobot redo. And a Starscream. I'm going to probably say about 20 for him. Wow. So this is off to a bad start. Two boxes, though, are in great shape. I'm probably going to say all of that adds up to another 300. So we're paying 100 per box. I'm guessing 300 for sale. I'm just doing it on the fly. The little one wants to say hello. He's curious what's going on. We're doing a little uh, video. Hey, Wicket. Do you want to watch me do the video? Or do you want to go to McDonald's? Do you want to go for a walk? <gasps> oh, I shouldn't have said those words. Oh, can I finish the video up first? Oh, he's like, no, I have no patience for you. You must obey me. Okay. 
We'll take you for a small walk, but I gotta finish up the video. People want to know about the Beast War purchase, as well as me, of course. I don't know. The other boxes could all be Toy Biz figures, and then I'm not going to be doing too good.